Hi and welcome back. Well, let's get this on the way. This is and it isn't about this pad of paper. This is my crayon A4 pad of paper. It had 30 sheets on it. It uh, clearly doesn't anymore. Um, and the silly thing is, I forgot where I bought it. So, at some point, I will need a replacement for it. I quite enjoy this paper and it's not super available uh, any place easy for me to get at or it is because if I could remember where I bought it um, I could go and get one so um, yeah so um, I've been looking for some other drawing paper and it was just Black Friday this past Friday and Arteza's website in UK had some super sales on so I ordered two pads of drawing paper and it arrived today so there's 80 sheets in each and when you buy them they come in two packs a little unhappy that that corner up there is, is a little bit bent. I hope it's just the the front part, the cover. But it's up there. It, it's perforated up here so I guess the bottom as long as the bottom corners are okay it's fine. Eight sheets in each and the price was very reasonable. It's maybe a little bit smoother than I hoped for but I will do a review of it later on, and, uh, but it won't be in this video. So that's interesting. Um, so it's a uh, it's a little bit bigger than an A4 uh, page, but that's okay. Rather than it's a little bigger than too small. So uh, yeah. That's 180 pages. That should last me a while. It should last me until next year. Plus the ones I got left on the other path. So I'm good for drawing paper for a good long time. Um, this is more coarse than, than the Atesa paper. So um, yeah, and drawing paper is made for dry medias. Uh, sometimes some t types of drawing paper can handle some wet stuff other times it can't it uh, depends on the type it's not meant to so if it can it's great if it can't yeah then it's just that way um and i also ordered the gouache i know i didn't i obviously didn't go with the big 60 set um my budget is, is kind of very limited at the moment and I didn't think I needed 60 colors. I can make 60 colors out of this. So let's have a, a look at these. I've seen some reviews and they seem quite okay. I got their two, a 24 set of their two watercolors as well. And, um, yeah, I weren't very impressed when I first got it, but now I've compared it to some other colors that in within the right price range and in that comparison it their watercolor actually stands up pretty good the tubes are the 22 milliliters or so 15 12 milliliters that's why they look so small that's 12 milliliter tubes that's not huge not for gouache anyways but i will also make a video about these now it says 24 gouache colors, so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's a little bit of a stretch because there are two whites in here, but they are two, the, the number is different on them. So one will be a mixing white, uh, this one, and titanium white is more like a white on its own. You can mix with titanium white, but uh, it is uh, 
that's PV6 bulb, PW6 bulb. Pure titanium white is it's kind of harsh when you mix it with other colors. Usually you will use a zinc white for, for a mixing white. I guess there's just more filler in that one than in that one. So, um, but um, I'm looking forward to trying it out. So I'm not going to sit here and fumble trying to get it back in. So that was what I got. Two pads of paper and uh, a brush. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll be back with something more soon. See ya.